Welcome back, it's the Wicked One. We got a video for you. We're gonna do the Behemoth pull today. And... I bought a pack so we get Kilgore. Unlock this dude. Kilgore. I'll do a review on him right after the unit pull. Oop, not what I wanted. Sorry. Get a little extra gold. Alright. Pull one. Ooh, that's quite a bit. We gotta get a full behemoth. Come on. That's so unfortunate. I'll only do a couple more. How far is behemoth now? Yeah. I was hoping we get a full version of them. Let's get him to five star. It does. All right. Well, we didn't end up pulling a behemoth because you know my SSR luck. We don't pull them ever. So there you are. We did get Behemoth the five star. After we get a five star, what are we missing? All right, missing some stuff. Max level. Our talent stone. Sweet, that last one was good. Now let's level up the skills. Here we go, we got our maxed out for skills. We do have some pretty decent bonus stats. We do have Crag Hex bonus. And we do have Mephilia for the extra HP. His HP now is 2.1 million. Alright, let's check out this new hero. God, no. Right there. Perfect. Just his basic skin. Alright, for his specialties. A behemoth upgrades to a monster behemoth and becomes immune to almost all controls and debuffs, including bleed, burn, disease, petrify, freeze, slow, stun, low morale, silence, blind, plague, and time stop effects. That's pretty awesome. Hmm. Alright, level at 2 star. All stronghold units gain attribute bonus as their HP drops. The War Behemoth gains extra attribute bonus and is and its infuriate inflicts extra effects. Alright. 
Cool. So they just get buffs when their HP starts dropping. Which will go in combination with his four or third skill. When the HP of War Behemoth or Ancient Behemoth drops to zero. What? Hmm. I don't know what War Behemoth or Ancient Behemoth are, but I'm thinking that it's the same thing as Monster Behemoth. When they drop for the first time in battle, drops to zero for the first time in battle, grant them invincible to all friendly stronghold units for five seconds, healing efficiency when invincible reduces to 80 by 80%. And then at four, so increase the duration of unyielding faith by three seconds, doubles its effect, and reduces mana cost by 40%. Stronghold faction units gain 300 increased crit hit and 10% unit damage when unyielding faith is active. Stronghold units cannot die within the fi first five seconds when unyielding faith is used. What is unyielding faith? Unyielding will. Okay, they're probably the same thing, just another translation issue. Increase all friendly units' tenacity by 50, and their crit damage by 10%. Strong Friendly stronghold units restore 8,000 HP every 3 seconds for 9 seconds. Huh, and it goes up by 2,500. And the cooldown's reduced. That's awesome. And it's a water, it's the only water spell, which is unfortunate, but this fire arrow, I really wish was earth. <laughs> Second skill, fire arrow. Third, quicksand, this is a good skill. It does HP damage as well as lower the defense. Pretty cheap cost, not too bad of a cooldown. Strong skill, then we have blood bust, low cost, pretty low cooldown. Increase of attack and life drain, which is pretty awesome. This, uh, this hero looks like a brawler hero. Or he's going to use this to increase his damage and give them more survivability and immunities. But he's four star. Barrow, just another throw in. Quick stand, reduce the defense for Brawler Hero. It's good, increase the damage you can do, and it does some decent damage with it. Then you have Bloodlust, which will increase the damage and give you life drain, which is also really good with it. A little free mastery refresh. Oh, we got all greens. Wow. No, that's not worth taking. No one has done any evaluations from me yet. Alright. Let's do a quick battle first. Uh, let's see how strong it really is. Take this out. Take this out. Throw the five star behemoth in because you know that's awesome. Toss him in. Ooh, did you see that? He looks pretty awesome. Normal behemoth kind of looks pretty cool. The upgraded behemoth got chains on. He's growing some horns out of his back. He's got armor, pretty cool, and he's got claw guards. go with Shiva, she's a low level. How strong is this behemoth gonna be? He's even cooler in actual combat. <clears throat> those are the armed skeletons, you get those at level 5 for the skeleton artifact. There's a summon going off. Dies instantly from the AoE. Okay. Your enemy wow. That's pretty sweet. Even with those died to dragon though. Six million versus eight hundred K. That's a big difference. That's awesome. Bunch of developmental spots. Wow.
So this hero might become one of my main heroes I use for Duel of, or uh, Battle of the Gods once he gets four star. Other than that, I can't. I don't see him being a super great hero for a main team just because Solmir is in such a good place right now. If Solmir gets nerfed, then maybe he'll become really. A oh, that's a lot of heaven cast stones. Yeah, Solmir is in such a good place. But if he gets nerfed, then maybe other heroes will start to shine more. Especially Lord Heart. I don't know if anyone really has a counter to Lord Heart. It's really good. did get one of the Stronghold Rewards. We're gonna get this Fury of the Wilderness Avatar frame. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna change my uh, avatar real quick. No special a lot of special for Behemoth. It's kind of unfortunate. I used to run the Behemoth Avatar as my main. There we are. Oh, Skylinks did the same thing. <laughs> Man. Alright. arena real quick. Anything new happen? Oh. Oh. Stingray did attack? I'll do a quick replay with Stingray. Let's see what he's popping. <clears throat> this is my four star behemoth still. That's what you call getting wrecked. And he is 2.2 million, while well, my team's 2.1. Ooh, I went up a little bit. Zed went up too. Interesting, Zed. Wow. Interesting. You can see, we do have a lot of privilege points, and still the King Star. All right, we'll catch you guys in another video. Probably uh, tonight, do another live stream on the Battle of the Gods. I wouldn't bet your money on me beating Emperor Zed. <laughs> He's a really strong player. But uh, wish you guys all good luck, everyone who's here, and everyone else. I hope you guys have good luck and. Battle of the Gods too. if you guys made it. Pretty fun game mode once you actually make an end to it, but uh, it is a game mode that does limit the players that go into it, which is kind of unfortunate for the smaller players who are having a hard time catching back up to all the bigger players. See you guys. Bye.